All right, what's up guys? We're in the Lower East Side of New York City today. I made the drive just to come out and try that all vegan deli in Little Italy called Gelatician. Before we hit that, I'm gonna try a couple different spots in the area. And then we have another special treat where I'm gonna do a little fashion show with these new vegan shoes. Now speaking of vegan shoes, behind the camera is my buddy Joshua. Joshua is the creator of uh, Brave Gentleman, which is an all vegan fashion line that's incredible. They do shoes and suits and all that. Joshua, say hi. Hey everybody. Hey. <laughs> okay, Joshua, what are we at for the first spot? Okay, we are here at uh, Mikuli and they are a bakery, um, an Israeli bakery that makes some amazing vegan babka. All right, this is a very exciting moment for me. <laughs> so this is the elusive vegan babka. Look at that. For those of you who don't know, a babka is a, um, a, a traditional Jewish pastry that is chocolate and dough and it's, it's marbleized. It tastes like the chocolate's like baked into the bread. Yeah, yeah. Babka, babka is just a magical, magical pastry. Joshua's still kind of bring out some of his shoes so from I his got, company. I got a couple shoe options for you to try on. This is our weekend sneaker. This is the split style, so it's brown vegan leather in the front, white in the back. And then the other option is a uh, desert style boot in blue suede. This is called the Wasteland boot. How will you decide? Vegan fashion has come a long way. All right, so we're going with the blue suede shoes here. These things are really nice. And uh, you know, I can always find the excuse to dress up. Joshua, live on camera, you're gonna coach me how to do a good pose to show off shoes. And then we're gonna use that for the Instagram picture. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do it in the street. Like, just slowly, like, act natural. Just, like, move around like you're looking around the street. All right, so the final stop, we're at Galliettos, which is the vegan uh, Italian deli place here in New York City. All right, this place is very Little Italy, little Italian corner store. It's awesome. All right, and then our display case very much looks like a regular Italian deli, but it's all vegan. So they got their sandwiches, their pastas, um, kind of like cold salads, their vegetables, and then quiches even. All right, so here's our impossible meat Italian meatball hoagie. Wyatt, can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, I mean, so this is our like most popular sandwich, like everyone comes here for it. Um, the texture of it is like really similar to actual meat. And it's Kind of alarming. Got basil and then the rest of it is like a, a vegan, like mozzarella. Yeah, what's the mozzarella made from? It's a brand called uh, Numu. All right, look how gooey this is. It's good. <laughs> so good. So many good things happening here. The bread. You can hear it, very crispy. I always dreamed of uh having a place in Little Italy that was like this and vegan. When you have all these neighborhoods in New York City that, you know, specialize in different, different, you know, ethnic cuisines and different, um, different kinds of food and you, you always want there to be like the vegan place that does all those classic dishes. And I think that Galeotto has really, um, has filled that, that void in Little Italy. All right, to finish it off, we got these Traditional, what are these traditional rainbow cookies? These are Italian Italy? rainbow cookies, which are hard to find authentic Italian rainbow cookies in Little Italy that are vegan, that are vegan. in New York City. Okay, so, is. yeah. Oh man, oh, it's been such a fun day hanging out with Joshua. Um, as I said before, Joshua's clothing brand is amazing if you're into uh, cruelty free clothing. And Joshua also published the book. Uh, fashion animals. It's, it's it's a book that really just looks at how and why animals are exploited in the fashion industry, a history, looking at the psychology of why we're so drawn to animals and their their materials and their patterns and um, yeah, it's it's a an all-encompassing book. So I'll leave all of the links in the description below if you want to check it out. But thanks so much for watching. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, of course, if you haven't. And uh, I'll see you for the next video.